morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back, everybody, to Loving It on Keto. Did everybody have a great weekend? I sure hope so. It's getting cooler. It's getting darker. Doesn't daylight savings time hit? Not in for October? us. Not, that's the good news, you guys. We're on mountain time. We never have to do that BS. forwards, backwards, yeah. fall backwards, spring forward thing anymore, which is awesome. How is everybody doing on the scare your weight off for October weight loss challenge? Oh, Today is a protein sparing modified fast high protein priority day, you guys. Limit your carbs down to 10 or, or less. Limit your fat to 30 or less and move your body. I've been doing our vitamins. Got those all ready. And something about vitamins, you guys. When you see Harry and I taking vitamins, or when you see that I am taking iodine, for instance, don't follow what we're doing. Because we're not doctors. We're not nurses. We're not health practitioners. I'm not a nutritionist. So you need to talk to your doctor specifically about vitamins and supplements if you're taking any kind of medicine because there are some things you cannot take that's counter counter indicated for the medicine you may be on so i'm doing this for me the amount of vitamins that i'm taking the supplements that i'm taking my even my iodine that i'm doing talk to your doctor first please you guys yeah you gotta remember you like wendy and i aren't on anything anymore no. Hardly. Well, I'm not, I, no. I haven't taken any medicines. You know, I mean, I there just, was a time I couldn't even have grapefruit of no, any kind. You, that's right, because of your medicine. Because of the from, medics, medicine right. I was on. So you have to really, you know, when when I started this thing, we went through a lot of checks and balances way. to find yes, out we what, did. what we could have and what we couldn't, and then add it in as we went, as we eliminated some of the medicines we were taking what i want to say about iodine you guys for those of you who are brand new i was born with a hearing impediment i was 75 percent deaf and had to have surgery and then i had to have radium treatments at the age of two and a half years old in order to um clear out my eustachian tubes and all of the tissue and stuff that was in there so one of the things that can happen is you can get thyroid cancer. So my doctor has always had me on a little bit of thyroid. I don't have thyroid cancer. I never have. Thank God for that. I don't have um, thyroid issues. But because of what I went through as a child, I have always been cognizant of that. So please don't follow what I am doing. If you feel you need an iodine supplement like, like I do, talk to your doctor. That's all I'm saying. And why, why do you need a suppl uh, an iodine supplement? Why, why do we take it? Because you need iodine for every part of your body, for everything you're doing. But if you have Hashimoto's disease or something, uh, or you are taking synth Synthroid or synthetic iodine, I mean, synthetic um, thyroid medicine to help keep your thyroid function going, then you have to talk to your doctor before you take anything. You really do. So this is, I've got my electrolytes. I've got my vitamins over by my lunch pail. Um, I've got all the good things. Let me set this by my lunch pail so I don't forget it. Everything that you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days uh, prior, have a direct effect on your weight. And this weekend, uh, for those of you, thank you so much for thoughts and prayers for mom. She's doing much better. She's still in pain, but it's manageable. Talk to her about the uh, machine that the chiropractor put her on and the importance of sharing all her information she got from the hospital with the chiropractor because of her compression fractures. Anyway, you guys, my, huh, I woke up this morning and my eyes are puffy and my eyes are watering. So allergies are going crazy this morning. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. What did Harry and I eat yesterday? Let me share. We had two pieces of protein spraying modified fast bread with two teaspoons, with two teaspoons of butter. And we had, I made 
Harry goes, do we have any peanut butter? And I said, well, I have that PB Fit, which is uh, dehydrated peanut butter, basically. You rehydrate it with a little bit of water. Well, I just rehydrated it with a little bit of unsweetened coconut milk. Man, was that good, huh, yeah, Harry? Yeah, it worked out. We great. had about a tablespoon of PB Fit peanut butter on our toast, and that was our breakfast. Chalice brought pulso kielbasas over, and they were just the Johnsonville uh, pulsas. I made the rest of the steaks because we were supposed to go and have a barbecue at her house the day before. She brought um, those things over. Now, you guys, we had chalk zero, and you guys are going to see the review today on this video. We had um, one slice of, and I'm calling it OCC loaf. It's the Oreo cookie and cream loaf with frosting, collagen, and keto creamer. So our carbs were high because of the... Uh, things that we did yesterday we we did a taste test and review for chalk zero that you guys are going to see today 54 calories total 35 grams net fat was 115 the pulses kielbasa has more fat in it protein was 96 and our total calories were 1526 now sausage and i Packaged salsa, sausage, pulses, those kinds of meats tend to have me hold water weight because they have a lot of salt in them. So, um, me too. I didn't go up or down. I'm surprised Harry lost two tenths of a pound. But Chalice and I did more of it. I thought because I ran around the block a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, sure, ate, sure. You know, I, yeah, you did. You know, I did my normal workout. You did your, your normal morning run, right, Harry? Right, oh yeah. Run right to the TV and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I didn't have all that much, so. 177, 8. I stayed the same, which is really, really good for me, considering what I ate the day before, too. I mean, I, I did not eat the best. Um, Harry had, was 168.6. He was down two tenths of a pound. So let's go to the big board, Harry. Let's go. And I've got out meat. Look, I got out ground turkey and hamburger, Harry. Yeah, you want me to cook it, right? Yes, please. How's it going, Harry? Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. happy Harry. No, I feel happy, the, happy I feel Harry. the this morning. Do you? It's, yeah, I the salt. Feel it. It's, it, I can tell there was something in that that. Because I I'm actually a little hungry, so yeah, yeah. Know, that usually happens when I get some sugar. Well, we had more calories when yesterday I get some sugar, too. I'll be hungry the following day. Yeah, and that's why I'm a little hungry, so I know that there was sugar in there. And the pulsa, yeah. There's usually one or two carbs well, she, per serving. But that's okay. I mean, you know, well, you know, kid brought it, and I wanted to have it. So. That's right. So it is. All right. So basically, um, we were we kind of did this little bump. Now we're going to start going back down again. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing. It looks like we're going to go down because I know we're going to be really weird about food now. Yes. Well, not only that, but we're we gonna had... We're going to probably eat a lot of chicken and of a lot course of hamburger. We are. Well, we had Mexican food with cheese and salsa and guacamole mm, and sour cream for, right. th for two, three days in a row. Yeah. Three days. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So, anyways, you got to get going. Yeah, I do. I do. Oops, got it. Uh -huh. Got it. Yeah, I think that that is another issue is the um, all of the dairy that we had because we've been trying to stay dairy free because dairy does solve your oh, yeah, and my weight time. and we had sour cream and cheese and um, hatch chilies and salad and those things cause Harry and I to to hold water weight when we eat those things. Plus, I had two, not one, but two Quest cookies on Saturday at the hospital when I was spending the day there with my mom in the emergency room trying to figure out what was going on. So it was a little bit stressful. Yesterday, we got to unwind and unstress. We had a fun day. Chalice came over. We did a lot of stuff. And um, I just want to get back on track now. I but think I feel very, my eyes are a little puffy this morning, and my eyes never swell. What were you going to say? I think it's a little important that everybody understands that it's life and uh, they're going to go up and down. And I see some of these people on YouTube that stress out every time they go up a pound or whatever. And they punish themselves. And they punish themselves and, and they don't need to because that's no. just the way the body is. You're going to go up and down and you're going to have life situations. And you're going to have to want to have a good time occasionally. And if it bothers you, So that's don't, the way it is. Well, no, if it bothers you and you know you've eaten keto, which we did, keto- ketogenic foods foods that 
you know, help you stay in a ketogenic state because there's no keto foods. There's no keto, um, you know, they have labels on them, but eating low carb or no carb foods, the fat fluctuation, that kind of thing. You know you've eaten correctly or not, then, and you know you're gonna get upset, don't get on the scale. Just wait it out, eat your, all your meals, eat them all keto, get back onto the leaner meats, right? Take some of that dairy and some of the richness out of your diet, some of the, the energy out of your diet, the cheese, the sour cream, the heavy cream, those kinds of things, and just you know lower it down a little bit and get back on track. And give yourself a couple days, grace. Give yourself some grace. Anyway, everybody, I have got to get to work now. So I will see you everybody in the next segment. Goodbye. Everybody, I am at work and I've got my vitamins for the week. Yes, I do. And Beth, mom says thank you for hers. She appreciates it. Um, I've got my electrolytes. I have got a can of chicken drained that I'm going to add just a teeny bit of mayonnaise and mustard to and make chicken sandwiches. I brought some protein sparing modified fast bread. I have a new thing of French vanilla key two creamer I may keep in the cupboard until my um, maple pumpkin is totally gone. I have got ginger root beer and a strawberry Perrier and that is my lunch. For today, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and put this all away, and I'm going to go downstairs and make myself a nice cup of coffee this morning. It's coffee time. Coffee, coffee, coffee time. From Dante's Peak. Do you guys ever see that movie? And the guy has like three double espressos, and he's going, it's coffee time. It's coffee, coffee, coffee time. Yeah, that's what I always think of. That's one of my favorite mo movies I love that movie. Anyway, you guys, how's everybody doing? Looks like it's going to be up in the 90s again here today. It wasn't as cool this morning. I would say it was in the 60s, <clears throat> so I don't even need a sweater. So we're just having that lovely fall weather that we're noted for here in sunny Arizona. Yes, indeed. So you guys, I will see everybody upstairs. I drink my coffee and take my vitamins. Yes, indeedy. There you have it. Look at this little place, man. It's so cute. Two pieces of protein sparing modified fast bread and my chicken with mustard, a teeny weeny bit of mayonnaise, some bread and butter pickles, and my electrolytes and some hot tea over there. Hey, look, doesn't that look nice, you guys? I'm so excited about my new placemats. Okay, so I just really screwed up. So I'm sitting here, right, and I'm cooking some beef. I mean, you know, some ground round, right? But it's all done. I gotta pour the fat out. Well, I opened up the bottle, right, which I poured in, and then I started pouring it in. And as I was pouring the grease into the container, I said to myself, self, why, why is there a, uh, why is there a small measuring cup inside of it? Well, turns out, if I can lift it up without making a mess, I poured it into the 
Orgain Keto Collagen Powder. Here, I'll show you. Can you guys see that in there? Yeah, there was about two inches of the stuff in there. I'm uh, not about to tell Wendy, right? So I thought what I would do is edit the video, put this in the video so she would see it. Because that way she'll see it when she's at work. And I won't have to tell her when she's home. And by the time she gets home tomorrow, maybe she'll be calmed down. <sighs> Anyway, that's it for me today. I'm going to have some ground round for lunch. Yeah. yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. I got to clean this up. Man. Really stick my foot in my mouth sometimes. Marty is being naughty. He said a bad word. I ordered this from Amazon. This is uh, for my cast iron skillet because I almost grabbed it when it was super hot from the Dutch baby. It's super easy to do because no, I'm so used to dealing with pans that I can uh, grab the handles on. So I ordered this set. For me, it comes with a, a rubber uh, silicone trivet that you can place the hot skillet on, or you could even use it if you had to to hold something. Sure. You know, it's very versatile. Um, it's got the little lobster claw if you need to hold it. But the most important thing is are the handles and this piece. If you have a cast iron skillet with the side, the little loop part you're gonna use this and they can it comes with two size handles what size so that that's what Probably i need the to small see. one i think here let's see you think so mm -hmm. is that the big or the small one that's the big one and my skillet is 11 inches harry measured it across from here did you measure it from here to here because the slip is deceiving when you measured it I don't, did I you do it from here to here yes of course I did. Yes, for all what of it. What do you think I am, new? Yes. You're kind of new here. There. So that works really nice. And then you can use this. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think no, so. No, that one doesn't work. Okay, yeah. so I would have to use this. And just do this. That's better. And I like that. Now, I'm not going to put my silicon handle into the oven with the pan. It says you can, but I'm not going to. I would rather have that handle slip on and off than put it in the oven. I don't know. We'll see. What would you just do? Pulled it off of the handle. Put it on the handle. Pull it off. The, that's the big one. Here's the smaller one. I guess we'll have to leave it on the handle because it's too hard to put on and it'll be too hot. So I guess it has to stay on. Does it say you can leave up to it on? 450 degree oh, oven? Okay, cool. And we cook the Dutch babies in a 400 degree oven. Those are so good. I don't know what those are. Oh, oh you very... didn't see my Dutch baby? Oh, oh chalice! Man. They are egg custard meets Mr. Pancake, and they had a Dutch baby. It is so good. It is so delicious, and you cook it in the skillet. And this was Grandma's cast iron pan, so it's about 70 years old yeah. at least. So, thank God she had it. So, I'm excited about this. I'm going to put this over here. And I ordered something else for myself. Heat-resistant silicone spatula set because there was something. I, I boo-booed on one of my spatulas. I had to throw it away. It was my bad. Won't discuss it. Won't discuss it. What happened? Nothing. It may have gotten chewed up in the Vitamix by accident. Oh, that's right. That's right. I, it may or may not have gotten the whole end. And she fed it to me. No, I did not. I found all the red parts and put it together like a puzzle. I did not. Because, okay, let's move on here. Let's move on. Okay. Anyway, I, I wanted one of these stiff little spatulas because you guys, when you're getting your uh, bread out, it works really nice to push it away from the sides 
and lift your bread out. So I had to have one Because a metal of one doesn't work. No. Be nice. I wanted bread. Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, that's Marty! what I going to say. Shh. Be good. Harry must be taking the day off. <laughs> Those were gifts to myself because I need them. These are needful things cooking in the kitchen with Wendy. Yes, indeed. Now, this is something else I ordered. I'm not sure because the reason why I know that is everything else came to our post office box, I think. Yes. Let's see. Um, this one I may have ordered too. This is post office box, post office box, post office box. Yes. So. I'm just sharing everything, you guys. This one, let's see what this is. And you guys, um, all of our favorite things are on our Amazon mm -hmm. store. If you guys go to the Amazon store and you click on something, you can shop for whatever else you want and put it in your cart and we get a few cents. We get paid by Amazon just to have you shop through our store and at no additional cost to you. So that helps promote us and promote our channel. Yes, I needed more of the Bestie Monk Fruit. It's back in stock. Amazon was out of stock. Wonder why. Everybody's been buying it, right? All the keto folks. So I'm excited about that. This Besties brand is the most feel, look, touch, taste, and texture of real brown sugar yeah, that I've ever amazing. seen in my life. It's kind of amazing. It's fabulous. It even melts. It does. I'm very excited about these. I want to share these with everybody because I bet you guys have the same issues that I do when I'm cooking. And I thought these were great and we will- Was well, there more memory in there? Yes. Actually, it's got stuff so I don't have to remember. Yeah, I'm not even gonna tell you. Oh, look at this. Mm -hmm. Are they magnet? I think they are. You guys will love this. Okay, so we have people from a lot of different countries, and some people cook with um, milliliters, liters, grams, and some people cook with the um, imperial charts, which are the, our ounces, you know, tablespoons, teaspoons, and that kind of thing. So this is a kitchen conversion chart that's also a magnet. This one is for liquid because liquid volume is different than dry volume. And I can get the grams or the tablespoons or the teaspoons or the uh, tablespoons, teaspoons, ounces, cups, milliliters. I can't read. It's all right. So you guys, this, and it even gives information down here on if you don't have baking powder, Use half a teaspoon of cream of tartar plus baking soda. This gives tips and tricks for the most common used items. And then this also gives gas mark con conventional oven and a fan oven, which is a convention oven, confection oven, right. the difference in temperature. So I thought that was great. And I've got one for work, but I think these are magnetic. Oh, yeah. Look at there, sticks right on it. Yep, I have no room on my on my on my thing. Sure, but that's great. Oh, yeah, you because be really no, short. I can put it I can put it here, and when I'm cooking, depending on the recipe that I use, I can just use my conversions really quick, and right. I don't have to well, do the math in my head. We can rearrange this because it drives me. We can crazy. rearrange this mess over yes, here. Yes, we can. We can rearrange it. But I got two: one for work and one for here. If I'm writing a recipe that I'm thinking about, I have this. Or if I'm reading somebody else's recipes. Let's say you live in England or Ireland or um, and you have made yours for your um, Celsius, you know, instead of uh, degrees Fahrenheit. If you are using um, your m measuring, metric measurements instead of imperial measurements like we use here in the United States of America, I can do it very quickly and easily. That's so, why it's called a conversion chart. Yes. It is, Harry. I dropped something. I gotta pick this up. Sorry. People sent us these, and I think that's wonderful. Thank you all from the bottom of our heart. We truly appreciate the gifts that you guys send to us. Um, we enjoy cards. I love uh, your emails that you guys send to me with tips, tips and tricks, 
or recipes or uh, a cooking tool that you found very useful. I love those. Now, this is from Beth. And Beth, you are really sweet. And thank you again so much. She saw that Harry didn't have one. And she bought this for you, not knowing that I bought one for you as well. So, my mom does not have one. And she takes quite a few pills in her bathroom. She's got pills over to the right and pills over to the left. And so I talked with Beth and I'm gifting this to mom. So thank you so much, Beth. Mom really needs this, especially now that she's got to take some pain medicine and everything. I don't want her to get mixed up. I'll go over and make her first pill box for her later today. So thank you so much, Beth. We truly appreciate it. Let's see what's in here. Look at the cards first. Wendy, noticed you use craft paper at your desk for your meals. Thought this would be nice for you. Hope they are helpful. Thank you for all you do from Kimberly. Ooh. Look these are. These are bio fuit. Bio fuit. How cute are these? Look at this. Oh my gosh. I see Sally's face. I see a little rendition of Sally Girl. I'm excited. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cute? Oh yeah, that's Thank great. Thank you so much. This brightens my day because then you guys don't have to see my messy calendar with all my math and addition and numbers all over it. This is so cute. I love it. I love it. Let me see the red one. They're this pretty color. See the, oh! oh no, no way. Yes, way, way. Tell us and Marty and Harry, you guys will all know what I'm gonna say right now. Look at that. Can you believe Who that? Who does this look like, Chalice? Clarabelle. Like Clarabelle. You guys don't know, but our kids were raised with F Stop, Boston Terrier, Calamity Jane, Charmer. And Clarabelle was our last Boston who passed away before we got Sally. That's when we had no puppy and, and Marty said, or Harry said, I have to get another dog and we got Sally. But that looks just like that our Boston totally Terriers, like doesn't it? Doesn't it? Look it's like got Clarabelle. the same hair You thing. guys, she was a sweet, sweet puppy. We'll share, we'll insert a picture of her for you guys to see, but she was the most precious little Boston Terrier we ever had in Yeah, she life. took care of me after my heart operation. She did. She was Harry's first I mean, service seriously. dog, and she took care of him. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. These are so cute. I'm going to take one of each to work because then I got one of each here for you. If you would like to put one on your desk so you don't get your desk all uh, messy, uh, Marty, Sure, I can do that. Anyway, these are darling, I love them. Thank you so much. That was surprising. That was really surprising, and I can't believe That's there so was cool. a Boston Terrier in there. I know, not well. I can't believe it. You must have brought it up. I have everything Boston Terrier, and our first two Boston Terriers were Mexican, American, and Canadian uh, AKC champions, so. They were show dogs, but they were wonderful family pets. Wonderful family pets. This one says, there it is. I love this bacon cooker in the microwave. It's wonderful. Easy cleanup and fast to enjoy from Mary. Mary Manchester. Mary, you are a sweetheart. I use my little salt shaker all the time. I love it. I almost stole it. Yeah, Chalice has the creamer and the, what, like what do we have? Like a little pitcher yeah. that matches this in her Mickey Mouse stuff. She was like, oh, mom, that's really pretty. I'm like, get you a, no, that's mine. It's mine. It's mine. I love it. Let's take a peek at this and see what this is. Bacon microwave cooker. Wow. Look at this. I have never. Look at this. It's got a lid cover. Now this is cool looking. Let me see how this works. 
So, you put this in your microwave oven. You cook it on high for one minute. Oh, you can do sausage on this too. Don't overcook it. And cook bacon, if it's an 800 watt microwave, you wanna cook it 80% power. Great for reheating pizza too. Here's the little pictures. Sausage, pe pizza, bacon. And it's got, that's great. And you know what, I can try this. Oh, look at that. So it's got the slots that pull away the grease. Right. And then it's got a lid that's vented so the grease doesn't splatter, Harry, look. I like that. Yeah, Harry won't get in trouble for splashing grease in my microwave. This is exciting. I'm going to have to try this. I just happen to have some bacon in there. Hey, everybody. I am home from work, and I am going to do Protein Spraying Modified Fast Sourdough Bread 2.0 recipe. And it's going to be super simple, super easy. So what I got is 500 grams of egg whites in my bowl, okay? Mm -hmm. To this bowl, I am gonna add half teaspoon of salt, I am gonna put in this bowl one cup egg white protein powder, loosely packed, but I am using a cup. I'm using a quarter of a cup of allulose. I am using two, I'm using three tablespoons of this homemade sourdough spice that was gifted to me by Jim West, who is a um, regular viewer and a friend. And he sent me this after he made it, and we're trying to see if it works with Protein Spraying Modified Fast. Now, the bread I made yesterday was 1.0. I added two tablespoons, and it was delicious. Oh, but I yeah. want it a little more sourdough, okay? So I'm adding three tablespoons today. Three. One. Two. Three. Now, this bread is super simple and super plain. I don't want to add anything else that's going to take away from the sourdough flavor. So it's egg whites, egg protein powder, allulose, and sourdough spice. In with my egg whites, I do need a teaspoon of cream of tartar. It helps stabilize egg whites as they beat. So one teaspoon, and that's it, you guys. I'm gonna cook that. I'm gonna put this on, and I'm gonna beat it in this particular mixer for 10 minutes on high. everybody I'm taking my powder my dry goods which is basically one cup of egg white protein powder one quarter cup allulose and three tablespoons of the sourdough spice mixture pouring it all in here I'm just gonna drop the top I love this little mixer I'm telling you, I love it. I'm just getting it mixed. Excuse me. Gotta get the powder in the middle. Because now 
nothing comes out. Like, like this is so much shorter yeah. and a wider open. This really keeps it in nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Done. Do not over mix at this point or you will have styrofoam. Excuse me. So you just want to go through and make sure you've gotten it mixed up, that it's reached to the very, very, very bottom. The um, sourdough spice makes it a light tan color, beige color, so you can see if it's mixed or not in there. So just fold it in a few times. Get your well sprayed baking pan of your choice that you want to cook your egg whites in. Let me get the other one just to make sure I have even, even loaves of bread. This just whips so nice, doesn't it? Yeah. It even looks like it has a different texture. It does. It's a, it's a, well, the bread we ate yesterday was absolutely delicious. Oh, it was absolutely delicious. It tasted like real, real Wonder Bread. Yeah, it did, didn't the it? The crust was fabulous and had a slight sourdough taste to it. The bread didn't have the sourdough taste I was looking for. So that's why I upped it a tablespoon. I'm upping, I'm upping the sourdough starter one tablespoon at a time until I get exactly the taste that I'm looking for. Or it just makes it too sour and ruins the bread. It's gonna do one or the other, right? And I'm hoping for the other. I'm hoping this turns out to be a delicious, rich sourdough taste that I grew up with and loved and raised our kids with, too. We were a sourdough bread family, weren't we, Harry? Oh, yeah. And we, we got the artisan extra sourdough bread. Yeah, because I like uh, my bologna sandwich and cheese on freaking. Oh, yeah. Well, I used to eat a lot of those. Well, the family did, because mm -hmm. that's what we had. That's what we, that's what we served for lunches. Yeah. And we would have... Uh, Sourdough grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah, oh, those yeah. were good, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Tomato soup on the side. Yeah. How I many you guys had grew up with a bowl of tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwiches, man? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Easy peasy. Five ingredients. Open the door. Pop this in. This is cooking in a preheated 350 degree oven. And these loaves are gonna cook for 30 minutes. We'll come back when the bread is out of the oven and ready to cut and taste. Hey everybody, I've got my bread out. It's my protein spray modified fast sourdough bread version 2.0 but before we get to it i want to go ahead and close out today tomorrow is a regular keto day use your macros eat healthy nutritious foods from the do's and don'ts list and lift some weights yes indeed everybody so a recap of the bread this bread is is um Plain as I can get it. I made it with 500 grams of egg whites. I put in one teaspoon cream of tartar, half teaspoon of Redmond real salt into the egg whites, beat them till they were stiff peaks. Then I added a mixture of one cup egg white protein powder and one quarter cup allulose and three 
taste three tablespoons of the sourdough spice. So let's give this a taste test. First of all, it feels wonderful. Cuts really nice. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Just really looks good. Now it's still warm from the oven. Let's give this a smell. Just smells like real bread. I don't smell sourdough. I just smell real bread. So let's go ahead and open it up. Looks great. You've got that Wonder Bread inside dough. It's delicious. Tastes just like bread, but I'm not getting that sour bread taste that I'm looking for. Harry, can you turn the camera on you? Go ahead and taste, smell. Do you smell sourdough? Not really. But what does it smell like? Bread. Yeah, like real bread. Yeah, it smells just like real bread. It has the texture of real bread to me. But I don't taste sourdough. No, I don't taste sourdough at all. But it has a great bread flavor. Mm-hmm. Okay, you guys, tomorrow we're doing bread Protein sparing, modified fast sourdough bread 3.0 using one quarter cup of the sourdough spice medium to taste. And after that, I don't think I should be adding more to it. This is a little bit denser than yesterday, but it's very Wonder Bread, isn't it, Harry? Oh, yeah. It's great bread, let me tell you. I mean, it really is. And the crust I mean... specifically is just like homemade bread crust. It's, um, it, yeah, it's an amazing thing. It really thing. is. Yeah. And it's funny because I taste the sourdough in the crust, but not in the bread part. And the one thing I've noticed when baking with the egg white protein spray modified fast batter is that it nullifies. It takes the flavor away. It, it does something to it. You can have a beautiful batch of super over sweet, over cinnamon, over everything, and you put it in and you cook it and it's very mild when it comes out. So I don't know if we're ever gonna get that super punch. Um, I've noticed that with the flavor drops that I use with it, you have to really put it in. Now, here's one thing we have not done. I'm gonna wait until tomorrow morning and give this another taste test yeah. because I've noticed the flavor returns and comes back overnight after the bread or after the buns or after the Cinnabons or the cakes or any of those things that I've made have sat overnight. So that's what I'm gonna let this do. Anyway, you guys, I think we're done for the night. Don't you think so, Harry? Oh, yeah. yeah. So anyway, you guys, Sally, she would like a piece. She would like a little piece. Over here. Sit down. What do you think, Sal? What do you think? What do you think? Is it good? She says, Let Can me have another Say goodbye. She says, I need another piece. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> That's all she gets. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, <laughs> ring the little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right back here for. Protein's very modified fast sour dough bread 3.0 tomorrow. Anyway, everybody, good night. It's really good. I mean, it's really good. Well, that's just the good. thing. If anything, that stuff makes that bread like real bread. It is. I'm going to let mom taste this, see what she thinks. So, 